Gordon Sumner, better known as Sting, was born 1951 in Walsen, a shipbuilding town in the northeast of England. His musical career started on the jazz scene in close by Newcastle, but his dreams carried him to the big city. In London, 1977, Sting, Stuart Copeland, and Andy Summers banded together to form The Police. And thanks to the Sting-written Roxanne, they landed a record deal. Roxanne. However, the song failed to make the BBC radio playlist, and British audiences were slow to embrace their rock reggae sound. But after breaking through in the US, the band's popularity grew rapidly in the UK, and soon, the rest of the world. After every breath you take, their dark but delicate masterpiece, the police were on top of the world. Just like that, they took the bold and unexpected decision to go their separate ways. Now on his own, Sting returned to his roots in jazz. The outcome was different, but the success continued. Sting frequently uses his musical platform to support human rights organizations such as Band Aid, Live Aid, Amnesty, and the Rainforest Foundation, which he co-founded with his wife, Trudy Styler. Constantly curious, he traveled back in music history to record music from the British Renaissance, accompanied on the lute. My grace is that to see, to hear, to touch. He traveled the world, drawing influence from its wide spectrum of rhythms. Finally returning home with the last ship, a musical based on memories from his childhood town, a show that made it all the way to Broadway. One thing is sure, Sting will never cease to surprise, which makes us all wonder, where will he go next?